Who are you and how did you first become involved with Bluegrass Pride? Okay, question number one. My name is Kara Kundert and I am the Executive Director of Bluegrass Pride. I'm Mrs. Annie Beach. My name is Noel Akea. I'm a non-binary bass fiddler. My name is Patrick Campbell. I'm a CBA board member. Hi, my name is Justin Hiltner, Chair of the Board of Bluegrass Pride. My name is Lillian Werbin, and I'm a board member of Bluegrass Pride. My name is Molly Tuttle, and my connection to Bluegrass Pride began a few years ago, I think when the organization was first starting. I heard about it through the California Bluegrass Association. My name is John Weisberger. I'm a bluegrass songwriter, bass player, producer, and I became involved with Bluegrass Pride in advocating for the CBA to support a Bluegrass Pride float. And I remember attending a few jams and overhearing some of the ladies talk about this organization called Bluegrass Pride. And I was looking for mentors and people that I could point out in all walks of life, and I found Bluegrass Pride. Well, what Bluegrass Pride means to me is, uh, in the words of uh, the t-shirt, Bluegrass is for everyone. It's for everybody. Bluegrass is for everyone. It means that no matter who you are or where you're from or who you love or what you look like, if you love bluegrass, bluegrass is for you. And we want you to be a part of that community. My name is Lisa Sorensen. So many of the members are my friends. The musicians are outstanding. Bluegrass Pride's focus on inclusivity has given me an outlet where I can be my truest self in the musical communities I already care for. We want to uplift LGBTQ plus folks in Bluegrass, but we want to do more than that. We want to make it a place where everybody can be. Why is Bluegrass Pride worth spreading across the country and around the world? I'm out here on my front lawn burning some wood and a chimney. The reason why we need Bluegrass Pride is because we need more music in the air. We need diversity. We need to know we have our people. This is how we want to go forward with our songs. I think it's the future of bluegrass, and I think it's an essential part of the liberation of marginalized people that share in, like the community of roots music. And was there during the early discussions about establishing bluegrass pride. I've never been so proud of the CBA for having done that. I think that bluegrass pride is worth spreading around the world because queer people are all around the world. The great thing about this organization is that they really encourage people from all walks of life to come together and play music and just really appreciate each other for who they are. And I think that we need just maybe a tiny bit more of that in this world. Putting everything out around the world can make such a huge difference. This is my t-shirt, Together We Rise. One of the continuing missions of Bluegrass Pride that I'm so excited about is showing the world that bluegrass is a welcoming music. Bluegrass is for everyone, and I just can't wait to see how they expand in the coming years. It's, we want it to be a global organization because music is global, music is universal. What direct impact has Bluegrass Pride had on your life? My name is Nick Garris and I'm a dancer and musician. There are so many artists who are involved with Bluegrass Pride from an assemblage of different queer backgrounds who are all working out their queerness, examining what that means uh, to be a traditional artist in American music and dance and as a queer person. That interpersonal and artistic inspiration was, was pretty big right from the very beginning. Bluegrass Pride's focus on inclusivity has given me an outlet where I can be my truest self in the musical communities I already care for. It made it clear that there was a family for me and Bluegrass Pride gave me that, that space in the community. It's given me a sense of community in a place where I thought there wasn't going to be any. Being a non-binary trans person, I felt like that there wasn't going to be space for someone like me to play in this music, and I feel very fortunate that that isn't the case, thanks to Bluegrass Pride. Thank you. Why is supporting uh, Bluegrass Pride financially so important? Well, our goal is to have a direct impact on the day-to-day -day lives and the working lives of LGBTQ musicians and creators in Bluegrass. So when you're donating to us, you're donating directly to those folks who need the money the most, especially right now during a pandemic that has an outsized impact on marginalized communities. Believe it or not, you need money to put on events, to support artists, uh, both local and abroad, and really just be able to utilize all the resources you can to promote 
the message, which is bluegrass should be for everybody. Any amount of donation can go a long way. As much as people talk about equity and inclusion and, and making spaces more diverse, that really comes down to practicalities. And I think Bluegrass Pride understands in a very pragmatic way what it means to create opportunities for people who might not have the cultural capital or following uh, that other more established artists do, but whose work is still drawing folks from many, many, many backgrounds and whose art nuances the idea of what it means to be an American traditional artist in this place. I support Bluegrass Pride financially in the form of donations and find it important for all to do so. Supporting a nonprofit like Bluegrass Pride helps to amplify all marginalized voices in not only Bluegrass, but all musical communities. There's so many people who have yet to be touched by Bluegrass Pride who have yet to realize that they could find community here. Everything's so professional, so well done. I wanted to support that. Bluegrass and old time music are full of diversity and inclusion. Just look at our roots, and let's keep it going with Bluegrass Pride. You guys are doing a great job, and I'll support you all the way. Support Bluegrass Pride! Support Bluegrass Pride. It's a wonderful organization. Thanks. Donate, y'all. Keep the music alive. There's, there's more to do. Those were all of my questions. 